Here they come. Welcome to this week's episode of Here They Come. I'm Paul Ramlow. And I'm Jessica Schroeder. Well, Paul, this week history was made when Dave Pallone became the only the second driver in North American history to hit 15,000 wins on Tuesday in the 10th race at the Meadows when he drove Booze Boy to victory. That's right. Uh, with Hervé Philly on the all-time North American leader in attendance, Pallone got that milestone to victory. As you said, became just the second North American driver to reach 15,000 wins. And in a tribute to Hervé Fillion, Pallone came back to the winner's circle standing in the sulky with Booze Boy, uh, reminiscent of Hervé doing the same thing back in 1979 with Hot Hitter. Dave is already a member of the Living Hall of Fame in Goshen, New York. He's a three-time North American Dash winning champion. He's a six-time Harness Tracks of America leading driver. He's done so many things already, and I think he's really looking forward to being up there with Hervé and getting 15,180 victories lifetime. Yeah, Pallone should hit that milestone mark sometime later this summer. Uh, for reaction on Dave's 15,000th career victory, thanks to our friends at the Meadows and especially Evan Paddock, let's take a look at Winter Circle reaction. Congratulations on number 15,000. Uh, Roger, I can't tell you how happy I am to get it over with. I, I knew my family was here and I saw management here and to know this guy here was here, I didn't want to let him down. And yet, man, he's a good worker works hard, drives hard, very strong competitor. Now I just hope that he becomes the world champion. And I hope someday another driver come and beat his record. That will be good for the industry. Make no doubt about that, Dave. You look ahead now, the figure is 15,180. Uh, this is a big moment. The chase now begins in earnest. Oh, it's, yeah, it's going to be tough, you know. It's, I was nervous today. I can't imagine when I get close, but uh, Hervé's always told me, all you need is power, kid. Huh? And they have the power. Yonkers Raceway's month-long series for older pacers, the George Morton Levy Memorial for Horses and Geldings, and the Blue Chip Matchmaker for Pacing Mares opened up last weekend with multiple divisions in both races. On Saturday in the Levy, 42 horses were entered in six different divisions, and defending champ Real Nice won in a lifetime best and was the fastest division of 51-1. and one. Jason Bartlett drove him. But Brian Sears and Yannick Gingra both drove two winners of the other divisions. Brian won with Strand Hanover and Raber Crombie, and then Yannick won with Clear Vision and Atokia, while Brett Miller drove Art Z. And in the blue chip matchmaker, uh, CU at Peelers, the two-time defending Dan Patch winner at two and three, made her four-year-old debut and got half a victory. She finished in a dead heat with Chancey Lady for the top prize in that division of the blue chip matchmaker. Among the other winners, Mystical Diva, who was purchased this past January for $170,000 at the Tattersall's January Select Mix Sale, she came away a winner for Brian Sears. Uh, Western Silk, who's earned more than $1.5 million in her career, was also victorious. Rocklamation and Peanut Blue Chip were the other winners in the Blue Chip Matchmaker. And this weekend, on Friday and Saturday when they race again, there are going to be a couple of divisions where last week's winners are pitted against each other. In the Levy, Real Nice and Raber Crombie will be racing against each other on Saturday. And on Friday, Western Silk and Mystical Diva will be racing against each other, while Chansey Lady, Peanut Blue Chip, and Reclamation will be racing. So it'll be quite interesting to see who's going to come out on top. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting series over the next month. The finals will be held on the final weekend in April. We look forward to seeing how this series progresses. The New York State Racing and Wagering Board has confirmed 14 cases of strangles at Saratoga Raceway, which is currently closed due to the strangle situation. Uh, Jessica, you've had some first-hand experience with strangles. Tell us a little bit about that. Unfortunately, quite a few years ago, we had an, a case at our farm in Wisconsin, and it was a really nasty thing to look at. I mean, she had a little bit of a, it was impeding her breathing down here. She had busted out of her neck, and we had to treat it, flush it out. If it's not taken care of, it can be very serious. But I think a lot of tracks are taking precautions so that then it, it doesn't spread. Yes, we've had news releases from all the tracks throughout New York State and the surrounding areas as to things they are doing. Uh, apparently Monticello Raceway has been the hardest hit as far as the effect of strangles. Monticello has had to actually cancel quite a few races this week. They had 26 scratches alone on Tuesday. But it's not because they had confirmed cases. They're just taking precautionary measures to make sure that they don't have an outbreak there like Saratoga did. 
Yeah, several tracks again throughout New York State and even the Meadowlands have issued news releases talking about what has to be done as far as horses traveling to and from those tracks. Uh, you can get all that information and current updates on the Strangle situation at our website, www.ustrotting.com. The U.S. Trotting Association has announced a stellar slate of catch drivers who will speak at the upcoming USTA Standard Bread Driving School in Goshen, New York. Relatively young drivers Jason Bartlett and Jordan Stratton, along with veteran driver Jeff Gregory, will be instructing the students on different driving strategies to help them better prepare for their driving and training careers. For those of you not familiar with the USTA Standard Red Driving School, take a look at this video. Want to learn more about harness racing and standard red horses? The best place to do it is in the Sulky at the U.S. Trotting Association Driving School. Join us for five days in Goshen, New York, home of the Harness Racing Hall of Fame from May 30th to June 3rd. Learn from the sports top trainers and drivers and get plenty of hands-on time with horses and in the sulky at the Mark Ford Training Center, located in the region known as the Cradle of the Trot. Visit USTrotting.com to learn more about how you can get inside harness racing at the USTA Driving School. The 2012 USTA Driving School will be conducted on May 30th through June 3rd in the Goshen, New York area. There's still time to sign up. Go to USTrotting.com for all the details. Well, that wraps up this week's edition of Here They Come. We'd like to especially thank Kevin Decker, Evan Paddock, and the crew at the Meadows for their help in producing the Dave Pallone video, which you saw earlier in the show. We'd also like to thank our producer, Rich Johnston. I'm Paul Ramlow. And I'm Jessica Schroeder. Join us again next time for another episode of Here They Come. Here They Come.